Hello, it is Don here from Operation Alpha with the uh, next one of my tips in this uh, series. And I'm going to talk today about, uh, <laughs> I'm laughing already, but it, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's something I see a lot of at the moment. And it's basically um, uh, bodybuilders, fitness models, they, they tend to sell, uh, you know, workout plans or in men's health, it's... Uh, you know, they'll give the workout plan of, you know, an exceptionally uh, ripped and um, in shape uh, individual's workout plan for you to follow. Right. So, for instance, they'll show you the workout plan of, uh, you know, ex bodybuilder or uh, Hugh Jackman or, uh, you know, somebody who's in, in incredible shape. And of course, you think that, all oh, right, if I do their workout plan, then, you know, it's going to have a similar effect on me right um and uh, i've i've noticed recently there's a few fitness models um who are selling plans uh to you know get biceps like them or to get um abs like them etc um so you could probably pick up by the fact that you know i'm sort of giggling and struggling to keep a straight face that i think this is all bollocks uh and it is yeah um and uh, you probably realize that yourself, but it's important to realize why. Uh, so the first thing you've got to realize is, uh, uh, you know, one of the way, one of the reasons these people look specifically the way they do, apart from the fact that they've got years and years of training experience behind them, that they are incredibly dedicated to, um, uh, to their training, to their nutrition, to everything that's going to result in them looking that way. Uh, and hats off to them, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not knocking them in any way whatsoever because I think it's, uh, you know, I, I, I appreciate the hard work that goes into it. So you've got all that as well, and and what I just said about the experience as well, about the uh, length of time that they've been training before they've arrived at this point and are doing this particular plan that they are now trying to say that you should do. Apart from that, there is the kinds of uh, uh, non-ignorable um, aspects of genetics, okay? So if somebody's got, you know, an incredibly bumpy eight-pack, for example, sure, they've eaten really well and they've trained very, very hard to achieve that look, but a lot of it is down to genetics, you know? For instance, you know, you could even think about somebody like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He quite famously only had a four-pack, you know, no matter how low he got his body fat down you could only visibly see four abs really um, and that's just because of his genetics that's just the way his his muscle in his abdominal area was shaped um, whereas you know somebody else somebody like Lazar Angelov you may have heard of him uh, for instance he's very very popular on social media at the moment incredibly good shape uh, guy I mean it's just incredible physique and he's got you know an eight pack um, now, the thing to realize is doing his abs routine is not going to give you abs like him. Yeah, it should be quite obvious, really. But it's easy for us to get suckered into uh, thinking that. Um, so you've got this issue of, of obviously genetic makeup for a start. Um, and as I've already mentioned a couple of times, it's it's the training experience. You know, it's the... These people have put in years and years and years of hard graft. They've been experimenting. They've been trying different uh, programs. They've maybe worked under different trainers. So the training plan that they're doing at this moment is not the reason they look the way that they look. And also the training plan that they're doing at the moment is probably not appropriate for you to get the best results out of. So I'll elaborate on that. A little bit so to typically these routines they can um, have you kind of doing quite a few different exercises maybe doing some supersets uh, kind of running around the gym and do, doing a you know you might have maybe eight different exercises in your routine uh, with you know maybe three to four sets of each exercise um, all kinds of funky movements and you know what that's great um, and and the training like that is uh, very very fun and it's not to be not, but if you are really, really, really focused on building some muscle and body composition, and you are an inexperienced or even moderately experienced trainer, it's probably not the best way to go. Um, 
Now, the reason I say this is, you know, lifting weights is not just about grunt um, and, you know, uh, uh, just, you know, brute strength and brute force. It's also about skill. Um, so, you know, your bench press, your deadlift, your squats, uh, your rows, your pull-ups, these are actually skills. I mean, I'm sure anyone can have a go, but to uh, perform these lifts correctly um, takes some skill and it takes practice um, to learn how to do them. You know, to you, people uh, have been squatting for 20 years and they're still working on their technique. Uh, now, the problem is, is if you're doing all these different exercises and you're running around and your, your program is very packed, uh, and you're doing, you know, body part splits as well. This is the other thing, you know, you've, you've got chest day, back day, leg, etc. So, you know, if you're doing bench press only once a week on a Monday, but you're only doing three sets, you're only doing, you know, a maximum of, say, 36 repetitions of uh, your bench press once a week. I mean, that's not a lot of practice to learn the skill. So I would suggest that you should um, stick to these compound lifts to begin with, the, your bench press, your deadlift, your squats, um, uh, your rowing movements, your, your pull-ups. You, you know, if you have to start off assisted pull-up, that's, you know, there's no, no uh, shame in that. Um, and to do them, so to do multiple sets of these exercises, so your, your, your workouts contain less exercises but more sets because that way you are practicing each movement more you're learning the skill more you're also uh creating more stimulus through volume through your muscles so you get better results um and i would suggest that you would actually get a more benefit training training your chest twice a week training your back twice a week your legs twice a week so you can split up your routine so that maybe you've got a an upper body day and a lower body day which you repeat twi twice so maybe you do your upper body day on a monday uh, and a Thursday and you do your lower body day on a Tuesday and a Friday or the other way around. Uh, in fact, I would prefer to do it the other way around. Everybody does chest on Monday, but I think leg legs are better on Monday personally. So okay, again, I've, I've, I've whistled on for nearly eight minutes. So I hope that's given you a little insight into why that, you know, these men's health workouts. I saw men's health on the shelf the other day and the stuff that was on the front front of it was just ridiculous, quite frankly. Um, you know, don't get suckered into all that thing and beware of aesthetically gifted, you know, incredibly uh, good looking bodybuilders and fitness uh, models who are trying to sell you their programs and, and lure you into this belief that if you do their routine or if you pay them a bit of money to purchase their routine, that you're going to look like them too. Okay. Right, I'll leave it there. It's an, an eight minute video. So yeah, by all means, please keep the questions coming. If you would like to know more about this, if you'd like to, me to elaborate a little bit on what type of training you should do, uh, just drop me a message. You can, you can email me or comment below this if you're on the Facebook page and I will endeavor to, I will get back to you very, very soon. All the best. Cheers.